Hello friends, thank you for joining me. After 25 years in pastoral ministry, I think I can safely say that the greatest falsehood of Christianity is this, and I've heard it many times. I hope I am good enough to get into heaven. When the time comes, I will plead my case before a merciful God. Surely, I am no worse than anyone else. He will let me in. Let's hear what John Wesley has to say about that. The scriptural text for this sermon is found in the book of Romans, verse 5. To the man who does not work but trusts God, who justifies the wicked, his faith is credited as righteousness. We want a right relationship with God, which is called justification. Unfortunately, there is serious confusion about what justification actually is. I will try to explain it and show how we can be justified. Our first parents, Adam and Eve, were created in the image of God without sin. These first humans obeyed the law perfectly and were holy and happy in the Garden of Eden. However, in God's sovereign wisdom, he added one prohibition. Do not eat from the tree of knowledge. Sadly, this led to their undoing as they disobeyed God and spiritually died, becoming mortal. And so, by Adam, sin entered into the world, contaminating all of us. But God had a dramatic rescue plan. For he would come to earth as Jesus Christ to bear our sins, thereby reconciling the world to himself by not counting our sins against us. This work of Christ on the cross is the foundation of justification. Therefore, the Apostle Paul could proclaim, by the first Adam, death came to all. By the second Adam, who is Jesus, new life is available to all. What is justification? Well, firstly, it is not sanctification, where God is working in us by the Holy Spirit. Secondly, it is not dismissing any accusations from Satan, nor is it dismissing charges from our violating the Ten Commandments or the moral law. It is certainly not God overlooking our sins, thinking us better than we are, he cannot be deceived. It is this, da, 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 the pardoning of our sins. And then, amazingly, God chooses to forget them so that it becomes just as if I'd never sinned. So who is justified? God pardons the unrighteous sinners not the so-called good folks. That would be earning one's salvation and making Jesus' death unnecessary. Jesus came to save the lost. It is the sin-sick who need a physician. But some may say, surely I must clean up my act before God will accept me. Not so. For all truly good deeds follow after justification. In fact, no works done before justification are acceptable because the deeds are not done under God's guidance and for his glory. So let's get right to it. How can you be justified? Put your faith in Jesus Christ alone. Based on a sure trust and confidence 
that Christ died for your sins. God has accepted you, not on anything you did, but solely on the merits of Christ's death. No other name, no other sacrifice can be offered. Amazingly, God even gives you your faith as a gift. Faith is the only condition, period, no exceptions. Why by faith? Because God said so. Who are you to question him? Why by faith? We can take a guess, or it may be to humble the pride of humanity. No deals, no payoffs, no backdoor pleading. So, come, sinner, and be gloriously pardoned now by faith in Jesus alone.